All right, we're here. As I thought, this floor is... I'm not sensing any enemies. Could you take a look around the area, Acoustic? There's no knowing what might happen. So be careful, all right? All right, something's gonna happen over here. What are these tremors? Watch out. So now I can go further. Is it over? What was that? It's one thing to know Tartarus changes daily, but to see it happen before our very own eyes. Regardless, the path is opened. Let's try exploring further beyond that. As for our next goal, I can only assume there will be a similar obstruction up ahead. Could I, in theory, just, like, not progress in Tartarus until the end of the game if I don't even have to be in Tartarus for, like, these, like, full moon thing bobs? And then just do it all at the end if I was really, really good at the game and, like, my level didn't matter too much? I wish it wouldn't start shaking all of a sudden. My heart almost stopped. Like, I assume I'm gonna need to get up to the top of this by the end of the game. But it seems like there's no immediate need to get up past a certain point anytime soon. Don't worry about what else could be in, st in store for us down the road. But since the path opened up, I guess we gotta press on. Also, going to Tartarus right now might also be good for me in terms of getting new personas. So I feel different about the floor up ahead. I'll send something more potent, like a tangible force of will. Stay alert. But yeah, I need to get your pictures of our- Ooh, this looks like something I'd see in Tales of Arise. This is what this guy looks like. Pictures of our F-250 sometime? It's coming along nicely. The exterior of the vehicle and interior have been mostly untouched so far, but everything mechanical and the flatbed have been redone. What the heck? I don't know why my phone suddenly- I Yeah, I- Shut- My phone screen randomly came on in Siri that I guess it thought that some word was saying Siri or something like that. What's the, uh, whoops. That's the attack button. I gotta remember these things. That's what I gotta do. Now I'm getting emails from work stuff. But yeah, got lights and stuff. I guess the body work and interior. Yeah, gotta work away at that. I would like to start work once, once it's working again as a functional vehicle. I would like to start doing some body work on my Fargo of like pulling out some dents and stuff. This is what I would like to do. Get some equipment for that. Maybe I just won't fight guys right now just to see how far I can get. For the moment, look at your little toy bow. Hey, there's a Yoink. Gale earrings. Then I can use the uh, SP purely for grinding stuff rather than doing it along the way. Because yeah, it's 7.10 right now. I have a team meeting for my group project at 8. I still wouldn't mind grabbing some food. So I'll probably be munching a little bit during my team meeting. This is some rugged terrain. Keep your eyes peeled for any blind spots. What the heck is this guy? Uh. Uh, I thought that was a wall that you'd be stopped on. Got him. First try. I'm gonna buy a new front end and rear bumpers for the truck once we get to make it pre-stage of work. But for now, we're just using the density up bumpers that were on it. Yeah. That's kind of like what I've been doing with mine there. And hello, hello, GMK. But yeah, things are going pretty all righty here. If ever you want to be like notified about like stream notifications, there's uh, the notifications role in the Discord server. And I always like post tweet. I guess it's just called posts now um, on the Twitter. How is the game? It's fun, but I haven't played it in a couple weeks. So I'm kind of getting back into the swing of things. This is the case here. Rip upper looks quite awful. So your dad spray painted it black. While it's all dented up and bent now, much as the color theme, that's good at least. You know, when it comes to getting replacement vehicle parts, because I plan on going to Texas and Louisiana in April and into May, I'll be there for about two and a half weeks. If my carburetor just cannot get fixed before that point, and I can't be driving it at the end of the university semester, like the parts will be the same as an old Dodge. So there's a chance that I might start browsing around sellers in Texas and Louisiana who might have old, like, 48 to 53 Dodge parts. <laughs> so there's a chance that I might end up buying a carburetor down in the southern United States and just putting it in my suitcase, bringing it home, and installing it on my truck if that's what it comes down to. <laughs> so hopefully it gets fixed before that point and I don't need to do that. That would be nice, but if it needs must, then needs must. But yeah, and thinking about getting other parts there. Like I have a 53 Fargo, which is the equivalent of a 53 Dodge. My dad has a 49 Mercury, which is the equivalent of a 49 Ford. Um, and he was joking there being like, oh yeah, well we're down in the South there. Just get like a new rear end for the Mercury and <laughs> the case. But yeah, you're starting to think that your message didn't reach, but it just took like a full minute to show up. <laughs> Problems on Twitch? 
I simply refuse to believe it. Uh, be the final god boss now doing new game plus to get the true ending. The final god boss of uh, Persona 5 Royal. Isn't that just like the main game though? Or won't there be like the royal content there? Message so delayed? It sounds like a skill issue to me. What that kind of sounds like. Um, I might not be able to get you. Most of the stuff on that F250 is fairly easy to get. Though, uh, the rear end is awkward so it has custom made flatbed on instead of the normal bed so everything cab back and cus is custom. Oh, jeez. I'll definitely put in a new bed at some point in my truck because the stuff that's in there is completely rotted through and has holes in it and stuff. But yeah. Well, yeah, that sounds like a skill issue. Don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm probably just going to waste a whole bunch of SP on this because you're going to... Yeah. Gosh dang it, man. Also, something fun when it comes to the Mercury. I can show you something fun that I did here recently. Um, I Hold on. I want to pull up a picture of the Mercury. Um, I could probably just scroll up in... Yeah, I can scroll up in the photos channel thing where Bob here. Or no, in auto. Let's see here. So, the Mercury, which looks like this. A little while back, I got some Hot Wheels in the mail that are the same kind of vehicle. I got some 49 Ford Hot Wheels in the mail. So... You know, same same kind of truck here, the exact same deal going on there. And recently, my cousin's younger kid and I did a little bit of painting together to make these here, like that. So they're Hot Wheels that are now painted with the colors of the Mercury there. So it has the black fenders, it has the red body here, painted the box with this golden brownish. It was just the closest brown that I could find to look like planks and stuff that are in there. I did the white wall tires on all of them. So I just did a little bit of white on the outside to match uh, to match that. So now I have two of these. I have two that are like that. So I plan on having one loose. And there's this, uh, this art group that does these canvases where they'll draw like streaks. They'll basically glue like a little model car or Hot Wheels or something like that to a canvas and draw and paint like these really cool streaks behind them as like their trail. And I'm going to try and commission them with one of these. So one of them can be loose and one of them can be like a little bit of an art project there. That'll become part of that canvas. And I'll give that to my dad at some point a little bit later. Maybe maybe for his uh, birthday this summer or something like that. And then it can be something that just like sticks with that truck. So if we bring it to like show and shines or things like that, just have like the hood open and s like set up this piece like on top of the engine or something like that. That, uh would be a really cool, unique thing that's just specifically for this truck with these uh, Hot Wheels that are of specifically that truck. So, I could have changed, like, a couple other things. Like, this is, like, the thing that got painted over, and it has these red lines on the fenders, and I thought about painting over those red lines with black paint that I got here so that it didn't have these red lines that are not on the original truck. But considering how... It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but the acrylic paint, I put so many layers on this and it's a little bit rough i might try to sand it down to make it a little bit smoother it's kind of hard to tell with the camera but it's a little bit grainy and rough and it's like oh well maybe i'll just leave the fenders as is it doesn't look too too bad also while it has like the little plastic see-through windshield there it doesn't have anything on the back so white painted there because otherwise it's just solid color that's the way that the box looked at first and then the uh, headlights there where it's just like, yeah, just black on the original thing here. So with some white paint, just put like some little dabs there. And now there's a, and now there's that. So that was my cool little mini art project here recently. So now I have two of our Mercury Hot Wheels is the case that are currently just sitting, chilling on my desk and stuff. I can turn off the display capture. There's the weird thing with the chat shadow as seems to happen. But yeah, so let's see here. Um, replace all the wood and just custom wood bedsides on it. On the back part, we have a bracket with holes in it and removable clips going through a 1x4 to act as a tailgate. Hey, whatever works. Um, but yeah, pretty neat, right? So many Hot Wheels and I've been flying your childhood collection is over 350 cars. I haven't owned any Hot Wheels in a long, long time before these. It has been a hot second. Wish you were that good at painting. It's why I got my, uh, cousin's help. <laughs> my cousin's kiddo's help there. Because I wasn't entirely sure. I got, like, the thinnest little brushes I could find, considering very very tiny details and stuff i think the one that she painted looks a little bit better than mine like so because we each painted one and uh i mean you wouldn't really be able to tell any detailed difference with like the camera here or anything like that 
But yeah, you have a Fiat 500 Turbo Hot Wheel, and if you had the skills, you paint it in a Barth, since it's only different exterior-wise as Barth decals and badging. Yeah, so just like do a different color there. Still delayed things to the Twitch issue. Nah, I think it's a skill issue. This is what I think it probably is. Light charm. That like immunity to light attacks or something, I wonder. And then cool there. Wait, what's this? Oh. Nah. Nah, I'm good. So yeah, I... I'm going to see about commissioning this group and getting one of those made in the near future with these Hot Wheels that I painted there. I don't know why I say there so much. Maybe I'm just a snake main at heart. Um, yes, and then despawn the dudo. Frost earrings. What? Destroy it. Cast it into the flames. Destroy it. Gosh dang it, man. All right. Yeah, see you later, Shadow. The Edgehog. Soul drop. Ooh, SP item. Sweet. That's pretty cool. There's a gatekeeper on the floor not far from here. Have you healed up recently? Hmm, gonna head to bed. Hope we can catch your next side or stream. And don't let the Project Fargo frustrate you. It's for a fun learning experience after all. Yeah, that's how I'm trying to see it as. And it's a cool way to become like a social project that I'm doing with multiple different people. Like the, uh this recent engine rebuilding class that I did. I might have some potential new recruits as well that are interested in working with me on the Fargo project as well. I'm bringing more and more hands on potentially. But yeah, is it all fixed now? That was good. But yeah, have a good night there, Mythic. Let's run. Ooh, what's this? A face. Spooky. Oh, more faces. I guess they've been all around. I just never really noticed them before. Must be the case. Squeezy. Like <laughs> All right, up we go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, there's a tra you wink. Ooh. Oh, briefcase burglar. Open 50 treasure chests. I just got a steam achievement. Shadow spotted. What's the plan? A run past it. That's what the plan is. Just get as high as I can right now. Do that. Yep. Let's head on up. There's birds. Detecting a powerful enemy up ahead. Everyone, stay sharp. So that's the gatekeeper here. This foe is unique. I wish there were a way to clean information on them preemptively. No matter. Once you're in combat, I can analyze our enemies. Use this information at your discretion. Plan strategically, and you're sure to come out on top. Well, you can analyze them after I test out their weaknesses and stuff. That's the case. All right. Well, let's see here. Yeah, just wandering around like a clown. Salut. Ten hours in. I almost... Read that is 10 minutes. Talk about a speed run, huh? Alright, so let's see here. What's going on with the burbs? Why do you bet they're weak to frost? It's enemy territory up ahead. Are you ready for battle? Sure, let's do it. Let's give it a go. If you're not gonna move, then we'll make you. Detecting three targets. Okay, I do like the battle transitions. Willow Wisp Raven. So if I were to like, oh heck yeah. On the one at least. <laughs> Here, I'll test with some of my other teammates. I'll try wind, I was thinking about trying out lightning. Oh my goodness, this is actually wind. Amazing. All right. So then do this, sweet. Nice. All right, all out attack time. Do the thing. Probably not gonna do too much damage though, right? A little smidge. Oh yikes! Is this gonna be the place where the uh, streaming stream ends up getting concluded? In that case, if I'm not strong enough for this yet, I need to grind it out. Okay, so then. Oh, just because that is that. Oh, and I guess I could have just used, like, the all-hitting ice thing with Jack Frost. That's what I could have done. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right, do that. I'm fallen, and I can't get up. Hmm. 
Um, past the second boss now. Just did that one earlier, this stream. Lightning Eagle. So yeah, you're weak to wind. Um, should I just do a regular attack? What's the best use of my move here? I wonder. Here, just do this. Please don't kill me. Um, no, just, uh, just the second boss of the game. The first, the first boss is like the, I guess it's technically the first boss then. I'm just thinking like the second main foe. The first one was beaten in tutorial land. So I guess you would say it's the first main boss. Um. Yeah, so let's do this. Yeah, I mean like. This might end up being where I call the stream this session. I don't really want to use too many of these for the gatekeeper things. Yeah, I'm just thinking because it had like the number two on it for like boss two. All right, well that's convenient at least. Let's see if I get lucky here. No. Oh. Well, I mean like. Okay, so um, they thought it was a different attack, but it was me, Zia. Yeah, this might just end up being the place where I grind out then. I'll try it one more time, but otherwise, this will basically be the place where I call the stream to stream. Ow. So then I do the thing where Bob here on you like this. And then I was pressing the wrong button to shift. And then, we go after these guys, with the wind. Wow, okay. Alright, well, I'll grind here. This is what I'll do. I'll use my SP, I'll fight a whole bunch of guys. We'll resume from here next time. Yeah. Would very much like to have a party of four. Here, just kill me. Kill me. That's not me. Just, just end it, please. Well. No, I googled it and it said Akihiko I get on the 26th. It's currently the 10th, so that's 16 days away. And if I'm about to end the stream and I need some levels and stuff anyway, I figured that this was efficient here. I mean, like, I could always just completely back out to, uh, before I enter Tartarus and stuff. But, like, I don't know how much it really matters here. Because it's going to be a while before I get Akihiko. And it's like, do I really want to just not go into here until that date? Which is a whole week? Oh. So it might be beneficial to just be from here then. And not do that. Because this was the time before I did that. Before right going in. Hmm. I look it up out of curiosity. If I just look up Persona 3 Reload Calendar. In which case, maybe I should just wait for that. Calendar walkthrough. Oh, it's an IGN page. Do I really want to click on it? Uh, sure. May. What's going on here in May? There's so many things that are popping up that are making it hard to see what the heck is going on here. Why is it like this? I don't ever really use, like, IGN things. Yeah, and it'd be good to give him levels and stuff. Like, what is this? This whole banner that comes with everything. It makes it so I can only read like this much of a section at a time because of all the crap that's on here. Um, so May 18th and May 23rd. Okay. Then we'll see the second spend several days completing papers. Okay. So yeah, it's just like a uh, sudden rapid fire kind of thing. It looks like. Yeah. And then there's all this stuff that I already did. And then May 10th is what it is right now. And yeah. Okay. When's the next full moon? Hold on. Persona 3 Reload. All full moon dates. All key dates. 
Um, oh, well, let's see here. So for May stuff, it's 9th of May, 2nd full moon event. Yeah, so I did that. I'm going to start accepting Elizabeth Quest. Yeah, I can now access a new block in Tartarus. Console deck, okay. Um, yeah, midterm is exam run, midterm exam closed. Uh, access to rooftop garden. Oh, cool. Geeko linked episode. But then the next, okay, so the next full moon's going to be in June, it looks like. Um, so what was this as? Second full moon event. If I just control F, full moon, first full moon event, and then second full moon event, third full moon event. Okay, so 8th of June is the case. So yeah, maybe I should wait. Maybe I should just like not go into Tartarus at all until the 26th when Akiko apparently joins me. It doesn't actually say here. So let me just double check again to make sure. So another three reload. When does Akihiko join? So I'm not just trusting one source and that's it. So always about roughly a month. Apparently joins on May 23rd. And oh, apparently joins May 23rd, two weeks from where I am in game. Can I just wait for him to join before returning to Tartarus? Um, yeah, deadlines are the full moons. Yeah. There, I may as well just wait then. He'll be May 23rd, it looks like. Yeah. Some people were in the same situation as me, where we were kind of wondering. Because it seems like that's a decent difference of time, the 10th to the 23rd, but it's like, I can just do a lot of Tartarus stuff after that point, and if a whole bunch of it is being taken up by midterms, and like, I'll have a decent bit of time, anyway, with, uh, the next one being June 8th. So, maybe I should just use this evening for something else, and then chill out and stuff? Yeah, I got you there. Okay, um... I don't think there's anything else that I'd want to do, right? Maybe just see my last CD. Oh, now that I've done boss two, maybe there's like some new stock at the place. I don't know what this exclamation point is. What's going on over here, huh? What is happening? Oh, the lag. I don't see an exclamation point with anybody here. I don't know what it wants from me. It's much lag. Um, I'll check the stock here out of curiosity. Otherwise, I don't know exactly how I'm going to be spending my evenings. Yep, I've already done that. The game basically forced me to do it. I didn't really have much choice in the matter. Yeah, there's the door. Still not being fixed. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I know that is. And she gave me the quest and she said, talk to some fortune teller. And there's no fortune teller anywhere there. I've looked. There's nobody. I don't know what the heck she's been smoking lately, but... I can't seem to find her imaginary friend. Okay, well, I guess there's no stock there. Maybe I'll just do my thing that I have, and then I can use evenings for other things in the future. Said it was in the club, did she? Because it sure doesn't say that in requests. The case. It literally just says this, which, oh, well, now I see the info button. In the, at the club in Paulonia Mall. Oh. I was trying to get more info on that earlier, and I couldn't figure it out. And the info button was X. I was trying, like, the bumpers and stuff. What's the club? Let's see here. Was that the, uh... The this? Corona is full of waiting customers. Might be busy because it's Sunday. That's the antiques. That's the pharmacy. Oh, there might also be new things here. Oh. I guess I can't use anything there yet. Spend the night here. Nope. Not yet. The Courage Place. I have no idea what the Courage Place is. Oops, I didn't actually need to enter here. Um, nah, I'm actually good. Also, I've got 16k. Not half bad. Um, well, I'll find out in a hot second here anyway. As I'm going through the mall. So that's a cafe. And escapades. That's an air of maturity through the slightly jarred door. Plucked up my courage and stepped into the club. Oh yeah, because my courage is, like, not the worst thing ever right now. I gotcha. Wow, some people here are really good at playing red light, green light. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> wow, I... I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> Hi. Hey, well, yeah, uh, wait a minute, are you a little too young to be in here? Well, I guess you can stay if you don't cause any trouble. <laughs> Welcome. 
Look, maybe you want to make an impression. Accessorizing is a must. Browse products. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. So we would really need to grind out there. It's happening nowadays. I guess that's what peace means. How about you? Anything dramatic happening in your life? Yeah. See, sounds tough. Well, good luck in whatever it is. <laughs> Can I help you? Don't think I've seen you here before. I've got some juicy info. It's certainly a fascinating form. Are you interested in the dark web too? I collect information from various people about interesting sites and forums. If you want, I can even sell you some info. Top secret stuff, even. The informant. There is an informant at Club Escapade who will sell you notes with URLs scrawled on them. Entering the addresses on a public computer might reveal some secrets about the city. Oh, want to die form note? A note with a URL of a message board full of rumors about want to die. Sure. I'll get them. Um, a note with the URL of a familiar site about an anonymous school? Sure. <laughs> Thanks. I'll be on the search for more exquisite info. Interesting. Yeah, that's right. There's a fortune teller in this club. But every, everyone calls her dead mother or mama. But I heard if she tells your fortune, there's no getting a second opinion. What she tells you will come true. Why don't you visit her? I didn't know she was a fortune teller. I guess she does look weird sitting there all by herself. Fortune teller, huh? All right, yeah, sure, just save into this slot, how about? Hmm, I feel a strange aura around you. Oh, she doesn't even have a name in this here video game. It looks like just fortune teller. In my mind, I see visions, people's pasts, presents, and futures, and no portrait either. For most people, I, can, I see clearly and far ahead, but you are different. Your future is filled with both blinding light and stagnant shadow. I can see but a small portion. What lies beyond that is shrouded in mystery. What a peculiar fate you carry. Now, young man, bearer of light and shadow. If you wish to know more about the near future, come and talk to me. I will share my limited visions with you. Fortune telling. Speaks to the fortune teller at Club Escapade to learn your future. Positive reading will affect the next journey you make into Tartarus. Okay, so it doesn't have to be the immediate next day. It's just the next time you go in, which is good. Um, the results of a fortune will only last for the day you receive the fortune. Oh? You have a limited number of readings to you in a given month, which resets each full moon. Wait. Um... So yeah, probably shouldn't then. Um, wait. Will affect the next journey you make into Tartarus. It will only last for the day you receive the fortune. Oh. Okay, so we won't do this right now. I have a limited number of readings available to you in a given month, which resets each full moon. So maybe I can only do like three or something boost in Tartarus runs or something like that. But yeah, I'll boost it when I go in there with Akiko much later, I guess. Fortune teller will not be able to predict your future on nights when the moon is full, so you'll have to plan your visits around the phase of the moon. Oh, it appears there has been a change within you. Well, allow me to provide you with a new fortune befitting the unusual light that you hold within. You're now able to select the new fortune, Rarity Fortune. Now tell me, what shall it be? I don't know why it's giving me something new now, like you've unlocked a new ability. It's like, this is the first time I'm here. What the heck? Um. I just got a text that says, you've received $200, $21, $221.66 for Alberta Child Benefit and Alberta Family Employment Tax Credit. Provincial Secure Deposit. Go to this link here. That is definitely not a scam. Most certainly not. That would be, uh... That would be ridiculous. I'm sure that's legit. Thanks for the... <laughs> thanks for the money, Noah. Like, know your fortune? I'm curious here. But yeah. Oh, it barely knows the difference to the amount of rare shadows anyways, to be honest, huh? See how expensive it is. How fortune do you sink? Increase the chance of encountering rare enemies in Tartarus. Meh. Um, want to know my future? And let us begin. A long rail under the empty sky. On it stands youth in disarray. You seem to live a tumultuous life. What do you see at the end of the rail? Let's hope that you find fortune in your destiny. Oh, well, thanks. Okay. Whoa. What's here? Nothing, nada. Okay, so I could go home and watch that CD. I think I remember hearing that the burger place worked the same as in P5, where it's like, get a big boost once you have like all your social stats up a level, which I do, they're all at two now. So maybe I'll do that with my last little time slot here before I wrap things up. I like burger, should I spend the night here? Sure. Let's try. Mystery burger. Mysterious food with unknown ingredients raises courage. So is this not the crazy everything boosting thing? 
I guess. Decided to try the new burger. Staffer looked apologetically at me before turning away. With some uneasiness, I managed to finish the whole thing. So, is that... Okay, well, I... Okay. I don't know. I'll probably look up some proper guide stuff on this game before the next session. As well to find out some things about stuff and junk. What's up, my dude? It's another glorious day with our good old buddy, sleep deprivation. That day before yesterday, though? That was wild. I've never felt that kind of thrill in my entire life. Don't you think things have been getting real exciting, lady? Lately? Not lady. Um, what part of it? Dude, are you crazy? I've got these sick powers. Plus, we pretty much won the battle and saved the city from total annihilation. How sweet is that? All right. Well, yeah, just once it gets a free gameplay again and lets me play. I'm sure you all remember that midterm exams start next Monday. If you paid attention during class and studied regularly at home, you shouldn't have any problems. Especially those of you who sleep through class. You must be preparing hard at home. Right, Yori? Well, if you choose to throw the rest of your lives away by slacking off all your students, then be my guest. Who am I to stop you? You're shaping up to make this a long one. Feeling sleepy. Should I close my eyes for a few minutes? Um, I'll stay awake this time. I was just raising courage with the burger. Back in my day, society was nowhere near as prosperous as it is now. That's why we all busted our humps for so long. The better the situation ah, we were in. Well, can you young people say the same? Hmm? Our society's material wealth has cost us far too much spiritual wealth, if you ask me. On the other hand, an Issei Mono Gatari. Force myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Wow. Academics are getting a little bit better. After school. All right, class ended for today. Oh yeah, I also figured that I would go to Tartarus there to be getting like new personas and stuff that uh, I could use for grinding out social links and stuff for now, but I guess I'll just be committing to the ones that I have of the magician friendo there, the hermit friendo online, the runner dudo, the class stuff, and I don't know anyone that's a priestess right now, I don't think. Must be the new kid, let me give you some advice. Make sure you study hard for our exams, there'll be some tricky questions. I was actually kind of nervous when I got on the monorail this morning. Can't stop thinking about how we really cut it close that time. Yeah, 12 seconds. Should we be fine with just those? I hope. That gives me a decent few options to work with. I do have a decent bit of funds, so I can now afford to summon a persona from the compendium if I really want. Um, let's leave the old couple for last anyways. Okay, but midterms will be easy. We're gonna say to just be on the safe side. Hmm. What's up? Dude, I was wondering what was up with the class, but then it hit me. Exams are in a week. So everyone's been so quiet. Well, I'll save like here. Let me check this. We have a new burger. Tried our new burger with unknown ingredients plus the flour fries are extra salty. Oh, should I have waited until this day? Oh, well, something for you. Got something for you today. Consider it restitution for you and the others for working diligently every day. Oh, maybe I'll go check out that briefly. Yeah, rare to have social links that are so readily available. I gotcha. That makes sense. So, I mean, the... Yeah, no one here that wants to hang out with me or anything. Yeah, maybe before next session, I'll also look up like a proper social link guide and plan out exactly what I'm doing here. It really seems like I can use all the help I can get on Merciless here. That's what it kind of seems like. Yeah, that's just the fortune there. Go on, I will dupe a skill card quickly. I won't use my activity in this time yet. I swear, this is like civilization, just one more turn. Um, there's lifting Nari Sushi as an offering. Sure. Catch a no matter what, you can rank them up without much trouble. Okay. Whereas the other ones are a lot more, a lot less frequently available then. Yep, yep, see your back. Well then, which thing we're Bob? I don't know. Passive, you know, I don't know. Slash support. Rage on one foe. So an ally's HP. Get rate of one ally. Here, sure. Let's do the provoke one. I don't know. There we go. Thank you. Duping that. Any Twilight Fragments around here? I swear I haven't seen any around for a little while. I'll hang out with you at some point. <laughs> Maybe even this next time, because it looks like it's probably my only option. It's probably the case. 
And oh my goodness, the lag. I don't know what's going on with my computer today. I'm still only using like 28% CPU total according to uh, the Thingamabob here. My uh, task manager. Is it not showing Persona 3? Oh no, it is here. Yeah, it's using like next to no CPU. If I click onto it, it says it's using 2% CPU, 4%. I know it used to be a lot more before I upgrade my computer core. Like that's one thing that's changed from last time is I've got a new core and motherboard. Which, was that new since last time or was that, was it not? Because I did it during Jan LAN. Okay, so that was, that was actually before then is the case. So no, my motherboard and core haven't changed out since I started this. But yeah, anyway, I don't know what happened, but I do know you guys did it. Yeah, my thanks to you. Gotta tip my hat to you. You guys are impressive. Oh, I thought you said you had something for me. It was just the sale. Running a little sale today. See if anything catches your eye. I would like to conserve my 14k that I have right now. Yeah, I'm good. I was just kind of curious what was going on there. After all, it's available for both days off, which is the more important one. And also after school, if you somehow get all of them done before you get the whole couple done, which is unlikely, huh? I gotcha. Yeah, looking at Task Manager, my total CPU usage is not going over like 25%. And the total CPU usage for this game is not going over like 6%. I've seen it briefly go above 5 a little bit here. But it's laggy. Maybe it should be using more. You know how bugs you never had? Maybe it's the PC version here or something or other. Like, this frame rate is not great. It's weird. But it's not like a lack of resources or anything. I'm using 59% memory, about 30% total CPU now. Most of it is from OBS. It's the case. All right, well, there we go. All right, I'm done. But yeah. Yeah, I still getting the weird door thing and stuff there too. And now I'm getting weird frame rate issues that I don't think I was having during the first couple sessions, but in the newer patches, now I'm getting it. Oh, now the game's going at like 8% CPU usage. Huh. Odd. Anyway, appreciate everyone who stopped by and hung out for another Persona 3 stream. I know it was a little bit of a shorter streaming stream today, but I have other stuff that I need to do, but figured I'd get in a little smidge of P3 today. And yeah, maybe next time we won't have as many frame issues. I don't know. We'll see. So until next time when we just do a whole bunch of hanging out and doing day-to-day -day stuff until we get Akihiko and then go to Tartarus. And it'll be great. So yeah. I'm starting in Tartarus as well, though very rarely, but not like here. And it was only for a day. Weird. Huh. Well, we'll see what happens with this. But yeah, thanks all for stopping by and hung out. And until next time, take care and see you. Goodbye.